We're going to learn about how to make a graph and a bar graph. In this lesson, we're at 10.7. A graph is a chart that is used to organize information. That's data, isn't it? A bar graph is a graph that uses bars to show data. And the bars make it easy to compare data from one thing to data from another thing. So look at this graph here. Just by looking at the graph, can you tell who ate the most cookies? Well, we can see this has got the tallest bar. So Bob ate the most cookies. We can even look at this and say, who ate the least amount of cookies? It was Tala because her bar is the lowest. See? So a bar graph can really help us. Now look at this big tree I drew with all the birds in it. We need to find how many more bluebirds are there than red and purple together. So think, we need to find out how many more bluebirds there are than all the rest added together because it says than the red and purple together. So we're gonna have to find out how many there are of each of these and add it together and then figure out how many more blue ones there are than these, okay? So we can make a bar graph and we'll color a box for each bird we see and then we'll use the graph to answer the question above. So let's count the blue ones and when you see something like this where they're all over the place and you need to count them, don't skip back and forth like this. You want to go from one direction and come across evenly, like start here and go across evenly. If you count this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, you could count a bird twice or you could miss counting a bird and not count them at all. So the best thing to do is to start at one end and go across. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bluebirds, okay? These don't count because they're in the question. So we fill in seven boxes. See, we fill it up to the seven. So there's seven bluebirds. So let's count the red ones. How many red birds are in the tree? I count one, two, three. So we fill in three boxes for red birds. See, it's filled up to the three. One, two, three. We count the purple ones. There's two purple ones right in the middle here. And we fill in two boxes for two purple birds. So now we know there are seven blue birds, three red birds, and two purple birds. So how many more blue are there than red and purple together? Well, how many are there for red and purple together? There's three red and two purple. Three red and two purple makes five birds. So if there's seven blue birds and there's five red and purple together, we can find the difference and do seven minus five. That means there's two more blue ones than there are red and purple ones together. Okay, and see how the bar graph can help us? We can see there's a lot more bluebirds, right? Okay, let's try some critical thinking. Which of the numbered pieces is not a shape in this big square? So I've got five numbered pieces here and I've got this big square. So which one of these pieces doesn't belong? Which one did not fit into the square? Can you tell? Can you look at them and kind of turn them in your mind and just think about what they would look like turned or flipped? Can you see how they would fit into that square? So do you see this big triangle? That could be number two, couldn't it? We could have picked it up and just turned it like that. And this one could be number three, right? We could just pick it up and kind of slide it that way. This piece could be number four. It just kind of came down and slid like that. And this one could be number five, right? We can just move it over like that. So if you said number one doesn't belong, you're right. There's no triangle that size in this big picture, right? So this is the one that doesn't belong. It's number one. It doesn't fit in that picture, okay? So we're going to move on and keep talking about shapes. We're going to talk about symmetry in the next video. And I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're doing well and keep trying. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.